In today's video, I am going to be breaking down an old San Antonio Spurs basketball play that worked extremely well and can also work at the high school level too. Let's get down and let's check this out. So this is going to start as a three out, two in basketball play or technically also could be classified as a one, three, one as well. So from there, what we are going to start with is generally a player out on the wing another player at the point and another player at the wing with a post player in the low post and a post player in the high post. You can kind of see how this can be classified as a 1-3-1. One, one. From there what we are going to have is the point guard pass over towards the wing and then we're going to have that low post player he's going to be popping up and then that high post player is going to be popping down towards that low post when that pass happens. Once that happens, that wing player is going to attack that baseline and then when that happens, when that player attacks that baseline, we're going to have a brush screen or a back screen on the player who is on this wing. That way, when he pops down towards that low corner, he should be wide open for that three-point shot. The same play can be actually ran with another entry style plan what we're going to have here is we're going to have the two wing players they're going to be crossing at the point we're going to be having our point guard much deeper or farther away from the rim and when we have this happen one is going to screen for the other so that we can have the entry pass into the play start when that happens, that player who receives that ball is going to attack the baseline. And when that happens, we're going to have that low post player. He's going to be setting a back screen on that player who initially set that screen at the point. This player who's attacking the rim now is going to be either looking to score or hit that player who screened for him initially out in the corner for that hammer pass. Basically what a hammer pass is is when you've got a back screen for a wing player or even a high post player in some cases and then another player attacking the rim on the totally opposite side of the rim. Now why this is effective is because you're going to really commit a lot of eyes to what's happening here. Meanwhile, this player on the far weak side is going to have usually zero or very few eyes on him, which then allows him to be wide open for the three. You can even start this with one of the wing players cutting across the baseline and then the other wing player popping up getting a screen from the high post player and that's what we are seeing here we've seen that cross with the players but instead one of the players instead of crossing will pop up almost like an elevator screen like what we see with the golden state warriors when he receives that ball in this case it's Kawhi leonard yeah this is an old play and an old video but it works extremely well and then after tony parker passed over to Kawhi leonard he then will receive that ball. Now if he's being overplayed when it comes to the defense, you can have that screener pop up and kind of have a relief pass to him to get to Tony Parker. This is why we sometimes can't run plays like this at the high school level because they're not always smart enough to be like Matt Bonner and have that relief pass. But that's okay. We can teach our players this. We need to be teachers, not just coaches. So when we teach our players to do that at this time, when we have Tony Parker attack the baseline, check out what's happening over here. So if we rewind just a bit, look at all the eyes on him. And we can actually teach our guards or even the player who is out on this wing to recognize when they see all of the defensive players' eyes on them, they need to attack the basket. And if we can teach our players to do this, that even in a five-out offense, when we have a player attacking on the ball side and we have a five-out offense, for example, we could have this player set that back screen for this player when this player on the other side drives towards the basket. 
And if you really want to have the complete guide to the five out basketball offense, make sure to go check out the link down in the description below. But here, going back to this play that we see here, we see Tony Parker attack the baseline, and then we see Diaw setting that back screen for one of the top three point shooters for the Spurs. And when Green was going down towards, it looks like Green anyways, I'm, I'm probably wrong. But when he has that cut, we have that back screen. Green cuts down towards the corner and he is wide open for that three-point shot. And I was right, by the way, that is Green. I can tell by his shooting form and the number I forgot until now. So if you're looking for a fantastic play to run, it's really not that hard to run these unless you get into situations when you need relief passes. And really all this is as a play is very simple. We can just have these two players cross right up top. One can even screen for each other, which is would make it even better. So player two could set that screen for player three who's cutting across. Player one passes him that ball. And then after that screen, we can have player five pop up. Player four could even set a screen for player three if we really wanted, but that's not part of the Spurs offense. And then we could have player two pop down, player three drive, and because all of the eyes will be on player three, he can kick out to player two for that three-point shot. And in the five out offense, let's say as an example, we have player one pass over to player three, and we have player four set a screen for player three, and player three drives towards the basket. Now, when a player one made that pass, he needs to do something. We could have a staggered screen for player one to get down towards that corner. Player three could attack. And if that's not open, he could kick out for a three-point shot. This is a fantastic 5-0 play that you could run with your team. So make sure to go check out the complete guide to the 5 out basketball offense down in the description below. I hope that this video helps you. If it has, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.